Dear Diary, Today, I met Mr. Anderson. Thanks for tuning in, Chocolate Tears. I'm so excited that you guys are here with me today for episode number one of my Dare Diary series. If you want to know how to achieve this look or if you're here for the tea, it will be a true story of my life of the year that I met Mr. Anderson. So it's my birthday weekend and everyone is excited. I'm, I'm a very much of a planner. I love to plan things. I love to just have big celebrations and enjoy life as it comes. This was before COVID, of course, and before I've met my husband as well. And it was definitely an interesting year to say the least. What we went through during this year, I'd like to call it the circus act because he was a clown. <laughs> For sure, for sure, for sure, he was a clown. So, birthday weekend, and we are just enjoying our time and planning what we're gonna be doing for, for this birthday celebration. My birthday's in March, so it's not quite summer yet. And I said, you know what, let's just go out to eat, but let's do it in the city. Let's just go on ahead and open up the invitations. I said, hey, if you guys want to go ahead and bring a friend, go ahead and bring a friend. So my friend <laughs> bought a plus one. <laughs> and this plus one was Mr. Anderson. My birthday weekend, I meet Mr. Anderson very 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 clean cut very sharp very attractive i would say and you can tell that he had his head on his shoulder because he was very intelligent and spoke very very well so immediately i was drawn to him because i felt like okay He's not here just cursing and not using his vocabulary. <laughs> He's actually using a wide vocabulary of words and he seems like a, a pretty sharp brother. But I also wasn't looking for anyone as well. So <laughs> he kind of just fell in my lap, if that makes sense. Everyone is, you know, just kind of laughing and just, just having a good time, all eating, chilling. And we're just having a good time. So back then, <laughs> people weren't so much as of sliding into your DMs. So he slid on right next to me. <laughs> and he was just like, hey, how you doing, birthday girl? <laughs> I should have probably known. Like, wait a second. He's trying to spit some quick G here, you know? He's trying to do a little something, something. But once again, I wasn't thinking much of it. It's my birthday, everyone's here to celebrate me. So I was just going with the flow. So he slides on and he's like, hey, Afia, um, happy birthday. I'm just touching base with you, just seeing how you're doing. I was like, all is well, all is well. And that was pretty much it that night. That really was the conversation that we had that night. I do remember giving him a hug goodbye because I was a hugger, okay? And um, I gave pretty much everybody a hug good night. Like, thanks for coming, you know, and so forth. Uh, you know, we finished out the night, we went out, and we just had a really good night. Two days later, my friend calls me. And she's like, hey. You know, Mr. Anderson, he's really interested in you. So I said, oh, really? <laughs> I didn't know because I really didn't. He wasn't really that talkative to say, oh, my gosh, he's like super into me. He wasn't flirting and nothing like that. So nothing that I even could have thought like, oh, he's actually interested in me. 
So anyway, I'm like, yeah, sure. Let's go ahead and let's, you know, let's have a good time. Fine, cool. Give him my number. We go on our, our first date. Now, we all know that first date. I'm like, mom, this is where I'm going to be at. This is the address. This is the number. This is where I'm at. If anything goes down, you know where I'm at. So I get dressed, real dolled up, real nice, real pretty. I mean, it takes me to the city. Guys, <laughs> it was a crazy wine and dine date. I mean, he was pulling out all the stops. He was opening my door. He had everything booked in advance. He drove. He did valet. We went on a really, really nice, nice dinner date. You know, I come home, I make it home safely. Whew. <laughs> and, um, you know, my mom's like, hey, how'd it go, you know? And I'm like, you know, mom, honestly, he's a really, really nice guy. Now, because everything went well that first night, actually really well, um, I said, you know what? As you can tell, I can't really talk while I'm doing the cut grease. <laughs> But, so, we go on the second date, and he decides to take me on a speedboat ride in the city. So, most of you know, you know, regardless of where you are born or where you're at, you have a, a place where you live that's kind of lit, you know, kind of live, kind of exciting. And that, that's where he took me. It was an amazing second date. Everything went well. And just a really good time. Just a really, really good time. Now, we're talking. We're doing everything. Just, you know, enjoying ourselves. I didn't realize how close this brown was to my actual skin color. So... It um, doesn't really look like I cleaned the crease, but I did. Um, and there's actually no product there. So we're talking, everything is going fine. Then all of a sudden, he just stops texting, stops calling. He literally disappeared. Like poof, gone, you hear me? Gone, o almost as if, <laughs> almost as if he fell off the face of the earth. Now at this time, because we're still new in our relationship, I really did not know exactly where he lived. I knew the area, but I didn't know exactly where he lived. So because of this, I couldn't like go and check on him because that's how bad it was. It literally, we did not talk for almost two months almost two months for someone that you were talking on the phone with every single day he never responded to any messages he never responded to any calls nothing like that so life goes on me being me i'm just back going to work going to school and and doing what i do because now you're out of sight out of mind I, I was thinking about you the first month but now we're into the second month and time is ticking and you have not return my calls and at this time our relationship is still very very fresh very very new you know so for me yes the the dates that we've had in the past were amazing they were fun it still wasn't enough where your girl was like sprung and just acting a fool okay no it wasn't like that because it had not been that long. So, two months have passed. I'm getting back into my life, the groove of my everyday life, not including Mr. Anderson. Two months pass. Hello? Hey, Afia. How are you? Excuse me? Bruh. You must not know about me. Must not know about me. 
<laughs> that was a song that was running through my mind. Real talk. I had already moved on. I was like, yeah, it was nice, but you just fell off the earth, my guy. Okay. Time goes on. So he's like, no, no. Um, you know, I'm I'm really feeling you. Basically, give me another chance. You know what? I'm still young. I wasn't dating anyone at the time. And I was and then I started thinking back and I was like, you know, when we were going out, it was really fun. And he was a true gentleman. And also, too, just so you guys know and understand, there were never any titles at this point. We weren't boyfriend and girlfriend. You know, we were just we were just hanging out. That title was not there. I did give him another chance. So by this third date, my expectations have already been put down in the dumps. And I'm really not expecting much to come out of this. But I said, you know what? I'm still going to go. I'm still going to have fun. Why not? He said, get dressed. Put on one of your best. And I'll be outside to pick you up. So me being me, I did just that. Slaying my outfit. <laughs> Of course, you know. So we get to the restaurant. We are literally at the finest restaurant that I've ever been to in my life. Now, I was raised in the hood, okay? Um, that's definitely a story time <laughs> for another day. Drop a comment down below if you want to hear <laughs> some of my hood stories. But so nonetheless this was still very very um i would say special for me because i've never ever been on a date like this and let me just say i went to fine dining that night it was one of those restaurants where you feel like, oh my gosh, can I cough? <laughs> can I move? Uh, you know, <laughs> am I using the right fork? Am I using the right spoon? <laughs> type of a restaurant. And when I tell you it was fine dining, it was fine dining. Five course meal. And every single meal was tiny because your girl left hungry. <laughs> I think it might even have been a six course meal, but whatever it was, it was a really, really nice night. He took me home. Everything was fine. Fast forward, we went on a couple more dates. And this is when he started getting his name for Circus Act. Ladies and gentlemen. Because he disappeared again. And this time when he disappeared, I was annoyed a little bit because it was like, Sir, didn't we just have this conversation? <laughs> like, uh, it, it, like, do you have a wife and kids somewhere? Like, who does this? You belong in the circus, sir. This time it was for three and a half months. <laughs> yeah, you heard me right. <laughs> three and a half months. So every time... Uh, my mom or my sister asked about him. I was just like, oh, he's at the circus. <laughs> <laughs> You're going into Christmas months. And it was, I remember, three days before Christmas. <laughs> my mom said, Fee. You have a package. 
but you know it's christmas time we're all ordering stuff for each other for friends for family you know so i wasn't thinking anything of it and once again he's been gone for three and a half months so when my mom actually looked at who it was from <laughs> That's when the ball dropped because I said, wait, who? Not Mr. Anderson, because he's at the circus. So I was like, yeah, it's from him. It's like, okay, mom, leave the package right there. So I already have a plan because at this time we've been talking for at least what? nine months i knew where he lived now knew his mom knew his brothers knew everything i said leave that package right there mom said the package was so heavy that she couldn't lift it so i said oh man okay that's cool so i went got my brother-in-law and i said hey i need you to um help me put this in my trunk big box put it in the trunk i said let's go so now we're headed off to Mr. Anderson's house. <laughs> He's like, what are you doing? This is a Christmas gift to you. I said, oh, not to me. It's not. Because the person who's that's from is at the circus. I'm not expecting any packages from this person. Because this person didn't have the decency to call or text your girl for three and a half months. And I knew his schedule. I knew all of that by now. So I already knew he wasn't home. But I was going to cause him muck. Yeah. <laughs> so I got to his house. I was like, bang, 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 bang. His brother comes to the door. He's like, hey, Yafia. I was like, hey, can you help me get this package out the car? It's a gift for Mr. Anderson. <laughs> Little did he know that his brother actually gave me this gift. But your girl was not accepting it, okay? So I said, tell your brother, I said, Merry Christmas. So I go home, of course, as girls, we wondering what the heck could have been in that package? It was big, it was huge. But I was so irritated at this clown that I didn't want anything from him. I really did not want anything from him. So now remember he dropped the package off three days before Christmas. So the next day I go to work. Do you know when I came home, the package was back on my doorstep? And I, oh. At this point I'm just like, whatever it is that is in there, he must either really want me to have it because I'm not going back to his house, waste my gas for him to just bring it back over here. You know, he worked at a very well-established job, making a lot of money. So I said, you know what? I ain't bringing this gift back, so I'ma just keep it. Christmas comes, guess what was in the box, y'all? It was in the box. It was a brand new, 50 inch TV. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thank you. And then he proceeded to call, text me, call, text me like, basically going crazy. When somebody knows they messed up, but they still trying to, to be a part of your life, he was pulling one of those numbers. At this point, I've already checked out. He was a circus act to me. It was definitely one hell of a ride. We met on my birthday and I cut him off exactly a year later. I was just like, I don't need this toxic behavior in my life. It was just too much, regardless of if he was just a friend or a foe or whatever. It was just too much. That year, man, he disappeared about four times within a 12 month span period. And when I say disappear, disappear like, fell off the face of the earth, disappear. Crazy, crazy disappeared, you know? No one seen him. And that's why honestly, till this day, 
I still kind of low key think that <laughs> that he had a wife and kids somewhere because it was just it it was just too crazy. Like like who does that? That's just my opinion. Drop a comment down below. <laughs> Let me know what you think or if you've ever encountered someone like that where they would literally be around and be around heavy. You know what I'm talking about? Not like, not just on some, hey, what's up, passing by. No, be around heavy, wine and dining you, taking you on on boat trips, <laughs> five five star restaurants, and going above and beyond, buying you expensive things. And mind you, we were never boyfriend and girlfriend. He never got anything out of the relationship besides just talking to me. Like legit, like hugs, kisses. But that was it because we never got to the point where I thought like, okay, yeah, we're, we're officially dating type of a thing. You know what I mean? Like we never got to that point. Either homeboy got a lot of money to spend or he was just like, you know what? I just maybe really, really like her company. I don't know, but to me it was weird. This is the finished look. Thanks so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're interested in more makeup content or my new Dare Diary series, which is just gonna be true story of my life. Until next time.